And my everlasting projects keep the boats up and going. I had to do some trailer maintenance this week. One thing I did was order a new Kodiak 225 brake caliper, swap it out. The other one was froze up, seized up, and rusted. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and bleed these brakes and show you how I do them on, on this trailer and give you a couple tips. First thing I did was, which my trailer is still jacked up off the ground, so I've got jack stands, two jack stands on it, even though I still have this tire in place. But I did use some wheel chocks for bricks, as you can see, just to keep it from rolling around or moving any. So the tools I have for this side are a 5 16 box end wrench, a little piece of plastic tubing that fits on the bleeder nipple, and I've got a water bottle with a lid. The best thing is with a water bottle on the lid is I can put the lid on it, I can make sure I don't spill it on the ground, everything is properly disposed of, uh, usually taken to an auto parts store if they'll take it and recycle it. Uh, a lot of our auto parts stores here will take chemicals like that if not we do have a hazardous chemical uh company from from the city and we can take stuff that's where i take old diesel fuel and gas and drop that off my trailer tongue is a tie down engineering i believe is a company that makes it so what you're going to want to do is take your brake fluid reservoir cap off make sure you've got plenty of brake fluid in here this one in particular uses dot three or Department of Transportation 3, DOT 3, however you want to say it. Uh, I know that Tide Down recommends not putting anything else in there except for DOT 3 because some of the others can mess up seals and things like that. And if that's what they recommend, that's what I'm going to put in there. I'm going to have this off, make sure it's full, but I'm going to set it on top there just so I don't get any dust, dirt, bugs, or anything else because we are working outside with this. So on the tongue of the trailer, we have the emergency brake cable. On tie down, what they recommend is you take your that big screwdriver, stick it down inside your, your little D-ring on there or shackle, whatever it is, pump it. Then have someone apply pressure, hold pressure on it while you crack that bleeder screw open. In a second, I'll get Nikki out. She'll pump it and hold it for me while I crack the bleeder screw and show you how to do the uh, caliper itself. All right, so Nikki's got pressure on the uh, brakes. So now I gotta go back and open the bleeder valve. So I've got my wrench on my bleeder valve. I put my piece of plastic tubing over the end of it. So pretty much here. I'll take my plastic water bottle, stick it inside the, stick the hose inside it. And Nikki, you got pressure on that over there? And go ahead and crack my bleeder valve. See all the air pop out. All right, go ahead and pump it up, put pressure on it again. All right, so I've got my wrench on my bleeder valve. I got my piece of plastic tubing on the bleeder valve and got it stuck down in my water bottle. So Nikki's got pressure on it. You holding your pressure, Nikki? Yeah. All right, all I gotta do is crack the bleeder valve. See the air bubbles come out and I get the solid stream. Go ahead and pump it back up again. Now, I've already done this a couple times. So you still see a little bit of the air bubbles come out. You'll see the pressure build back up on it. You got pressure on it? So what happened on the brake is there's this plate. So when you pull the brake up far enough, it locks and latches on the plate. So if the trailer comes off your truck on the highway, it locks the brake in. So Nikki heard a pop, didn't want to go any further. And I just had to come remove this plate so the latch could go back down where it's supposed to go. So now we can get back to bleeding it. So pretty much same thing you saw before. Just go through that a couple more cycles, make sure all the air is out of the lines and your brakes are good to go. So one last time, water bottle, Plastic tubing, 5 sixteenths wrench. Nikki, you got pressure on it? All right, now I'll crack the bleeder valve. You'll watch, if there's air in there, you'll watch air bubbles come out. So I pretty much have no air bubbles left. That's just fluid draining into the water bottle. So with no air bubbles left in the hose, 
Oh, there's air bubbles. So I had to keep bleeding until they're all gone. And just pretty much repeat this over and over and over until all the air is out of the system. Don't forget to remember, don't let your reservoir run out of fluid or you're gonna allow air to go into the rest of the system. Make sure it's topped off before you put your trailer back on the road. So you'll have plenty of fluid in there and your brakes work properly. And hopefully that'll help you bleed your brakes on your tie down trailers.